had a big piece of that. Wiedering had his pocket pick. Riccardi inside to Lloyd. Then it opens up. Quick fire handball by Ward. Cornelio puts the Jets on. No one's in the square. Should go for home. Should get there first. Awesome. You see him get back to his best. Not going to score to Coney. There's a piece of it. And he slipped the handball out. Setterfield gets all the angles right. And it's fair to say he's a happy man. We're off the left. Bangs away to half forward. Bit of disruption in the pack. Leadering doing the disrupting. And then McGovern with the backup. Lloyd a fumble initially. Put him at a disadvantage. Didn't matter. Got it forward. And Riccardi takes the mark 20 metres out from goal. And he does bite off the long kick. Green, oh. way early. We have liftoff. Toby Green. Need to see that leap again. <laughs> That's massive. <laughs> Giants strutting their stuff a bit. Eyes to the middle always for the Giants for the kick, but Ward eventually goes down the line side. Played the footy. Oh, Pete Link was hoping it might get out the back. De Koning chips it, hoping for was Silvani in the middle of that pack. Was the leaper. Kerno for the lot of them. Stayed out the back and gold. Toby Green's on the move. It's going to go right up over his head. And that's a brilliant take in the air from McGovern. Saad. A couple of bounces. He's prone to do every time he walks a couple of metres. Oh, there's a big divot there for sure as Proust went down. O'Halloran created a path for himself, waited to the last moment to take his kick, and it went straight onto the chest in a whirlwind to Toby Green. Mixed bag in the history books for Toby Green from here, but that looks just fine. Positive start for the Giants in this second term. Setterfield, now Walsh off the left boot. Tries again, Brown playing in front, crept over his head, Kurno to Mackay, from Charlie to Harry, to Matt. Cottrell takes the mark. Cottrell's away, but he whips it through the middle instead. Now it's Plowman's call, Saad. Saad from 70, he might set up another. And it's Cottrell again, the beneficiary right in front of goal. Riccardi being watched closely by Wietering. It's a low launching kick in the end, and oh, the reflex from Green took it and drilled it. As he's still finding his best footy late in the season, returning from injury. Where? Weedering's got Toby Green, they just handed over now with a spy on him. Looks like McGovern's just watching where he's leading. Arcs around, step pass hard, now he's within range. Where is it going to hold its line? It does. Crept over the outstretched hands and he is pumped. At half time, and they've been using the corridor when they can. Ward waited for it to his detriment. Against Walsh. And he's rolled an ankle. Yeah. He's had ankle problems over the last 12 months. They're about to let play go, so it'll be 17 on 18 as oh. he slowly makes his way to the bench. And Jack Newton's a sub for the Blues, by the way. Proust knocks it down, but straight to O'Brien, who barrels it long. Silvani! Outread the lot of them. Yeah, Charlie Kurnow said to go all the way down to fullback. Beautifully oh. read by Cornelio. And the crowd is deadly silent. Knocked down by Briggs into the congestion. Flick up, Chera. Doherty hammers it. Kerno takes off, bends it around, and nails it. Massive moment. Follow me, boys. Cottrell, first play. Doherty didn't get the clean handball the way Walsh did. Center field. And what a difference that makes. Newman gets set. Long to Kerno again. Oh, he's got in the middle of the pack. How did he hang on? Superpowers. Kerno to Mackay. And he's got a two. Now the Giants have got players back in the holes. Long kick. Mackay got up there. Kennedy, good crumb. Feeds it back. Walsh 
bends it, goal square, Brown, he's put it to grass, Honey, fed on that. Brown, quick to release at that time, Ward, back to Brown again, they advanced to half forward, Ash got the bounce he needed, Brown kept on coming, hurls it deep, Briggs, yes. Lloyd, Hunter down, got the kick away, Stop! Oh! Takes a ripper! <laughs> Anyone I've seen. <laughs> this is Hangar Stadium. Carl <laughs> oh, Peatley. Has he got enough energy left to muster up a 50-metre goal? Yes, is the definitive answer. Comfortably for the Blues. Here he is, Cripps again. Set a field. Doherty, Durden, one-handed, a party trick. Gee, that's a win, a contested mark, a small against a defender like Nick Haynes. And DeConing pulls the kick late, who does he want? Kerno got there late, nearly crumbed it. Holding free, and it's unravelling now for the Giants. The leader in the race for the Coleman, brilliant. That was a work of art. Bruce just smashing it out of there and hoping for the best, but it was oh, to O'Brien who puts it on the chest of Kerno, and there wasn't much that Keith could do that time. Averaging 3.1 goals per game. We'll go past that here. Slots his fourth, and Carlton fans can just sit back and enjoy the show now. Gave it to Fisher. Little fake. Over the head of Kerno. Durden about to pounce. Handball options are plenty. Weaves his way through a couple. Brilliant. He's a craftsman, this kid. And the skim kick to Himmelberg from Kennedy was excellent. He turns and there's an opening that time for Green. He has Peatling if he wants. Tried to sum it up and yes, that was the right call. Peatling doubling back. Came up. Nonchalantly gives it back to Toby Green who might just finish it like that oh. to give the Giants fans something to get excited about. Blues fans are stuck around to sing the song. It's across the face. Blues, with a much-needed victory, can almost taste finals now. Maybe one more win, four games left.